The history of Simon, the Duke of Hastings at Bridgerton, is completely altered by Queen Charlotte's examination of racial disparities. Queen Charlotte even succeeds in altering the view of Simon's father, the true antagonist of Bridgerton season 1. By explaining the intricate concept of lineage and succession, Queen Charlotte makes a daring effort by publicly addressing how Bridgerton's society became more racially and politically diverse than the actual Regency era in England. The Great Experiment, a plan to dissolve racial barriers and offer peerages to black and Asian citizens of the ton, is sparked by Queen Charlotte's race. That includes the first Duke of Hastings, Simon's father. How Queen Charlotte changes Simon's origin story. Simon is victimized by his domineering father in Bridgerton because he is thought to be weak since he stammers. His father abandons him to be raised by Lady Danbury since he is seen to be a weak heir who would struggle to carry on the Bassett bloodline. In Bridgerton's most troublesome sequence, Simon is ultimately convinced to stop trying to be the last of his cue in order to exact retribution. However, Queen Charlotte provides important information that modifies the old Duke's behavior. For the newly peered occupants of the ton, who thought they were in danger as a result of the Great Experiment, succession was a source of mental dread. Indeed, a figure as powerful as Lady Danbury's succession was not assured even as she dined with royalty. The obsession with succession and strength of bloodline was a hangover from racially stoked anxieties from such a major culture shift. And while the Duke treated his son unforgivably, his motivation is a little more straightforward to understand. You are my worst failure. Queen Charlotte repeats Bridgerton's villain crime. Ironically, Queen Charlotte observes the monarch replicating Simon's father's dehumanizing villainy in Bridgerton season 1. Although Charlotte doesn't beat her kids like Simon did, she nevertheless treats them like failures, because they can't carry on her bloodline. The decision to keep Queen Charlotte's children out of public view at Bridgerton, and prevent them from being displayed at formal occasions, seems to follow a flawed logic. When Queen Charlotte is eventually told that she wasn't a good mother, her butler Brimsley disputes the accusation, arguing that it was her job to do so. She cared about the well-being and future of the crown. Thus giving up the chance to mother properly was the necessary sacrifice. However, that does rather get the Duke of Hastings off the hook for his evils. Perhaps Queen Charlotte is just saying that when the Queen does it, it's not a crime. That's what it should take. I shall get a sound from him still. No.